peace good morning and happy thursday today is june 22nd 2017 i'm a little bit sad today because uh today is the 37th anniversary of my father passing away and uh you know, I, I didn't think that it would still affect me, you know, like it did, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm going to get all emotional and cry or nothing like that, but, you know, you, you think after 37 years, it wouldn't affect you as much, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't trip, but, you know, here we are, feeling kind of melancholy, so I might not put up too many videos a day good morning sir good morning all right yeah but uh it's so um for those of y'all that still got one parent or both parents you know you might want to go ahead and give them a hug or tell them you love them even if it ain't your parent if you got an uncle auntie you know favorite cousin brother sister Anybody that you got strong feeling for, affection for, that's been in your life, you know, giving you strength, wisdom, you know, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell them that you care about them, that you love them, while they're still here to hear it and reciprocate that love and affection, you know, because you never know when they're going to be gone. You know, our time on this planet is limited, and, uh, not only do we want to make the best out of it, but we want to let the people who impacted our lives know that they impacted our lives and that they've done good for us and that we've learned from it. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You know, so that's just uh, my little two cents, you know, but on the other hand, I do want to talk about white knighting, you know, and uh, I, I made the mistake of trying to white knight to see it's Ramadan, man, you know, and it's only a couple of days left in this beautiful holy month, you know, and um, one thing that we learn about Ramadan from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that, um, you know, during this month, <clears throat> The, 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 the devils, the demons, the jinns, the evil spirits, we believe that they're locked away. You know, that, 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 that God put all the evil spirits, we call them jinns, he put them away in the hellfire. And so during the month of Ramadan, there's no jinns to whisper in people's ears and suggest that they do wicked things. You know, so when you see people, when you meet people, when you interact with people during this month of Ramadan, you know, you're dealing with them unadulterated and unaffected by any outside forces. You know, so I like to take note during Ramadan of how people behave and how they treat you, how they treat me, you know, and pay attention to your own behavior and how you treat yourself. You know, because this is who you are. This is who they are. This is who I am. Like during this whole month is a reality check for, for the Muslims, you know. And it's not really a religious thing because, you know, Ramadan is all over the world. And whether you believe in it or not, it doesn't make it any less effective. For instance, as a Muslim, I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't believe in Santa Claus. But every year, I get December 25th off. <laughs> How about that? Whether I want it or not, right? I'll be ready to work, ready to go into work and do some work, get, get paid, but I can't because nobody else is there. So even though it's not my holiday, it still affects me. And um, that's another thing that I'm learning too. Like just because certain aspects don't even affect my religion, you know, they still play a role because it's universal. Like karma, you know? Karma is definitely universal. 
you know so in the month of Ramadan you know um, I caught myself trying to get some last last minute blessings you know before this month is over because you know all the good deeds you do in Ramadan are multiplied by 70 and 700 so it's just like when they talked in the news about how ISIS was saying kill the infidels and all this old crap I was like man first of all if they said that they uh, and I don't like getting into that kind of stuff man but um you know because maybe they didn't read that book but that's not what you do in Ramadan even if you are at war you know what I'm saying because you, you still you, you want to try to get your blessings you know so anyway I was trying to get my blessings I saw somebody on Facebook they had a little happy post and they said God is good and so you know I, 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 I replied all the time you know that's what I do I've been doing that since the 80s you know people say God is good I say all the time people type God is good or text God is good I text back all the time you know and um, one particular individual who shall remain nameless didn't appreciate that I take it they were an atheist or an agnostic and they wanted to bring up why well if God is so good why do children get cancer and I'm like you know well damn it's a home girl of mine just uh trying to express how happy she is and wanting to praise God for it you know because people that believe in God you know we don't believe that you know all things happen you know just because of us there's something else it's like you know I learned how to tie my shoe because my father taught me you know I learned how to tell time on an analog clock because my father taught me I learned how to tie a tie because my father taught me There's all these things that I know you know and that I've taken into my life and used every day were brought to me by somebody else so these are good things you know and then when I was bad my father disciplined me he whooped my ass you know what I'm saying you know, and not to equate an ass whooping with childhood cancer, but a child that's getting his ass whooped, even if he truly did something wrong, doesn't think that it's something wrong or that he deserves, you know, or that he appreciates. But, um, you know, so I call myself trying to, you know, come at the person that said that, and, you know, and I guess the person whose page it was, who made the post initially, didn't feel that their page was... A spot for a religious discussion you know but at the same time you know that was me white knight so shame on me I was wrong and then it's, it's one thing to talk to the other person and have them express to you how you feel but then this person's friends her friends you know had to not only tell me how wrong I was but was I wrong for defending them I didn't call anybody out of the name. I didn't insult anybody. I didn't insult anybody's religion or lack thereof. But yet, my name was 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 was, was, was I was tagged, you know, and told to mind my business, told to shut up. You know what I'm saying? By a bitch that wasn't even my friend. It's not even my friend. You know what I'm saying? And I like I would never white knight for this person. You know, and and this person, she knows I don't even like her. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. The audacity to not only try to white knight for the person that I'm white knighting for, and then you're gonna say my name to make sure that I hear it, bitch. I will, man. So I, I didn't appreciate that too much. But what I did was I was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm not gonna go to bat for any woman that's not one of my four daughters. And that's a wrap, period. Because they don't appreciate it. Chivalry is dead because feminists killed it. Feminists and fucking dykes killed it. Trying to be men. So lift your own heavy shit. Get a ladder if you need something up high, pull down. Open your own motherfucking pickle jars. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not doing that shit for none of y'all bitches. And any of y'all dudes... We'll be like, man, homie, hey, I don't base my manhood on any man except for the man that left this planet 37 years ago. And he's not here to tell me that I'm wrong. 
So guess what? I'm not wrong. I'm PD Ice. So anyway, I you know just just had that to say, man, and and, and so I, I learned the lesson, and it wasn't really a hard lesson, but it just hurt my feelings. You know, I'm a human being. I'm a person. I got feelings, and they get hurt when they get stepped on, and I didn't appreciate that. So I'm not going to bat for any more bitches. You know what I'm saying? My daughters, they're not bitches. And I hope they don't become bitches. But if they do, I got a lesson for them too. Don't be a bitch. Cause motherfucker, cause good, good dudes don't like bitches. The only motherfuckers that like bitches is dogs. And you don't want to have a dog unless it's a German Shepherd. So, that's just how I'm feeling right now. You know what I'm saying? Inshallah, today, hopefully, I will get over it. You know, it's my last day of the work week. And uh, I'm going to go into work and try to have a positive attitude and um, do my job, do it well, and get out and come home and play some Xbox. So I'm going to try to be better today than I was yesterday. This is what I always say. And, um, you know, I hope you guys do the same thing. You know, I'm going to start working out a little bit and, uh, you know, getting back in shape. Because, you know, I'm going to be able to eat regularly. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get my body right. Chiseled out. Chisel these abs up. Good morning, brother. Puff up this chest. And, uh, you know, maintain my physique and my health and show my children a better way. And, um, so, uh, you know, so I just want all my fellas to have a good day today. Do your best. You know, be positive. And um, if anybody don't like what I say, well, you know what to do. Open your mouth and let me know how this dictate.